The story of Cairo Amman Bank has been described as a corporate rebirth. How did the bank reinvent itself to make progress in the Jordanian banking sector? Corporate rebirth is actually quite correct. Uh, the bank was uh, going a decade or more so before was a relatively small bank with high non-performing loans and modest financial results. Today it stands as a mark of innovation, sustainable growth in the market. Uh, this actually came about uh, by focusing on more than one area. First, the bank identified a new target market in the economy, which is basically the retail market, which was very much underserved at that time. Uh, secondly, the bank took a hard look at its core operations. Uh, it was clear that it needed to work on two levels, the human resource level and the IT technological level. In terms of HR, the bank uh, felt it needed to retool its current employees to give them the proper training in order to match the new objectives of the bank, as well as recruiting uh, new blood. Uh, on the IT side, there was a huge uh, change in the infrastructure where new technologies were introduced and this enabled the bank to launch new pro products that were mainly IT driven. One figure really stands out as an example of the transformation at Cairo Amman Bank and that's non-performing loans, down from 26% 10 years ago to just 4%. In what other ways has the bank's repositioning been reflected in its results? Due to the changes that took place, whether in the IT, which made uh, yani workflows more easier, processes more efficient, and uh, even centralizing the operations, as well as tapping these new target markets, uh, we started to see the results on several uh, key financial indicators. Like you mentioned, NPL loans reduced, but also we saw asset growth, uh, customer deposit growth. Today, even earnings year on year were growing at huge numbers. Uh, last year, was, uh, we witnessed a 36% growth in our earnings compared to 2009. And today, Cairo Amman Bank has actually the highest return on equity and return on assets in the market. This is all combined with the lowest NPL, or non-performing loan ratio, in the market also. Another striking feature of the bank's progress has been your geographical expansion away from your base in Jordan. What territories have you moved into? Uh, combined with the strategy to go retail, we had to look, we had to reach to all our client base. Uh, one strategy was to cover the whole of the kingdom and today we have a presence, a strong presence in the northern region, in the southern region as well. We have a very strong ATM network and in order to stabilize this presence in the country we are now working closely with the post offices where we have done agreement in order to utilize these post offices as sales points for the bank to make maximum reach. Also on a regional level, we have a presence in Palestine. And this also, yani we grew during the past years. Today we run about uh, 90 branches, 20 of which are in Palestine. As well as investing in people, you've been investing in technologies such as Iris Guard. How does that work? Yes, Iris Guard is essentially a technology for identification of customers and it was used mainly in, uh, in national security purposes, in uh, airports, checkpoints, and so on. Uh, what we did was actually take this technology and use it in the banking arena, whereby this automatically had uh, impact on three levels. First, it immediately increased the security level. You see, every person has his unique eye scan, which cannot be copied. Second, it reduced the, the, the customer's need to produce identification cards or PIN codes at different points, like at the tellers or ATM or customer service points. And thirdly, and most importantly, this reduced the time needed to identify customers from the market norm, which is around three minutes, to just below 50 seconds. So, to conclude, it's truly been a remarkable decade for Cairo Amman Bank. What's next? What's the strategy going forward? 
The strategy is to continue this uh, growth, building on the success that we have. Uh, we will continue to provide our customers with better services. We need to keep improving their banking experience, as they say, tapping on new technologies that are coming out in order to be able to do so. Rana Sumia, thank you very much. Thank you.